Hey guys, it's your girl Belinda up in my kitchen getting ready to do a little twist with the leftover bag of bacala rico that I have left that I didn't use. And I'm thankful that I didn't actually because uh, I made just as much as I should have, you know, so I'm glad I didn't overdo, overdo it. Um, so as you know, those of you that love me the most, my birthday is tomorrow. So um, I really don't have anything planned, just kind of, you know, just being around the people that I love the most. However, um, I do have some kind of plans uh, with a long lost cousin of mine that I'm hoping our plans come go through for Saturday here. Just a small little gathering to catch up. Miss her so much. One of my favorite cousins in the whole world, um, Sally from the Valley. <laughs> so I'm hoping our plans fall through for Saturday. Um, so I wanted to quick tell you guys, um, I have a twist that I wanna do today with that bacala rico. I, I have another pack. So I'm doing a soft white rice with that uh, bacala rico, and I'm using the same ingredients, just a little, th a little couple of different things that I'm doing, and actually I'm frying them like cakes on top of that beautiful soft uh, rice. I'm also doing a lemon cucumber tomato salad on the side as well, and so you guys don't want to miss this. So I just want to give you a quick little view here of everything. This is my Hellman's, my Spanish olives, my cucumber, paprika, tomato, lemon, chives. That's all I'm using for this uh, lemon, cucumber, tomato salad. Okay, that squeezy bottle, I'm using this. All those ingredients that I did on the bastelillos are in here. So, however, I'm using this to add into that bacalao that I'm doing today, okay? So... I do have some more of the sofrito tomato base on the side. I do have some California garlic and sea salt. And I also have some flour. I have one packet of salsong. I have my little tool here. I have apple cider vinegar with the mother. I have one white onion. I have some parsley flakes. And I have my wonderful little bit of rice here that's going to be perfect to go with this dish. Um, so as you see, I did save one pack and I'm glad I did because Everything went very well. My dad super enjoyed them. Um, we enjoyed them. It was beautiful. Um, so, and I had a beautiful, beautiful weekend. So, up to that. So, um, catch me in a bit. I'm going to chef this up real quick. Do short little videos. So, just so you know, for my birthday tomorrow, I'm going to take a break for two days. Um, just to relax and unwind for my birthday. <laughs> So, um, like I said, you guys won't catch me today. After today, you won't see me till Friday and Saturday, okay? Because this girl's going to celebrate my day. <laughs> All right. So, and like I said, hopefully on Saturday, um, everything goes as planned with my long lost um, cousin, Sally from the Valley. Hope to, every, our plans fall through and um, we're, at, we're able to link up. So far, it's looking really good. All right. So, I'm going to get to this dish and I love you guys and I'll catch you in a bit so please stay tuned like i said i'm going to be doing short little videos and just um sharing this deliciousness with you and i'm so glad i saved that extra pack of bacala, bacala rico because <laughs> because um you know i was able to ha have an extra dish i can actually share with you guys which i wanted to and i do this i've done this many times frying bake um these cakes it's it's like the salmon cake that i did um in the oven the only difference is, is I'm frying these, okay? And these are super delicious. So on my Facebook, I have many different um, pictures of different kind of styles and ways and um, just different ingredients today, little different twists of these cakes. Like I said, I love doing these cakes. They're super, de super delicious and they're actually really, really good for you. All right, so um, stay tuned for that. And um, I just wanna wish everybody a great day today. Um, on this beautiful, lovely Monday. My kiddos didn't have school today because of all the Black History Month and all the stuff that they have going on at the school. So um, me and my daughter were supposed to do those um, those pancakes this morning. Actually, we ended up doing them last night. She had a rough, long weekend with her dad. She had too much fun. So she was kind of a little on the tired side. So we just did them last night really quickly. And um, what we plan on doing is making sure that we have a different kind of uh, recipe style that she wants to do. To do, she has a certain thing she wants to do for the, for to do the the, the pancakes. Sorry, I'm tongue twisted today. Lots going on. Birthday tomorrow. 
so okay so we will stay tuned for that uh for when she's ready for that she wants to get her own ingredients so i'm all down for that that's my baby girl all right guys so catch me in a little bit so please stay tuned love you so so much Mwah.